Getting straight into the top five news stories of the day. The world is still reeling and Pakistan is mourning the loss of so many innocent lives today after a gruesome attack on a Pakistani school yesterday at the hands of the Taliban. Leaders across the world have condemned the attack that left 141 people dead, the majority of them children. Now it is time that we unite and I call upon the international community, leaders in Pakistan, all political parties and everyone that we should stand up together and fight against terrorism. Taliban militants stormed the school compound on Tuesday, shooting students at random and even burning female teachers. The Taliban says the attack was revenge for an earlier military offensive against them. A three-day mourning period has begun for the lives lost. Officials say the massacre is the deadliest of innocent people in the country. And back home in the U.S., the ex-Marine who prompted a massive manhunt in the suburbs of Philly after allegedly killing his ex-wife and five of her family members was found dead yesterday afternoon. 33-year-old Bradley William Stone was found near his home with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Authorities say the only surviving victim of the attack, Stone's ex-nephew, is in serious condition. They say Stone and his ex-wife had recently been fighting over custody of their two children, both of whom are safe. And in other news, rumor has it that Florida Governor Jeb Bush will actively explore the possibility of running for president of the United States. But uh, was that a yes? It is unclear, but he made the announcement via social media, taking one more step toward a run. If he officially steps up to the plate, it could set the stage for a Clinton versus Bush election in 2016. Several people are recovering from a major scare in the skies. 14 people were injured when their American Airlines flight hit major turbulence after departing from Seoul, South Korea, bound for Dallas. The plane had to be diverted to Japan, where several people were evaluated by medical personnel. Officials say the plane will continue on to Dallas today. And last year, top five headlines. The Sony hack has escalated to a new level, now threatening people, planning to go see the movie The Interview. The supposed group behind the hack, the Guardians of Peace, is now threatening moviegoers with violence, but the FBI is negating the threat, saying there is no credible intelligence to back it up. But you know, they are still reviewing evidence. The warning, however, was enough to prompt the NYPD and LAPD to step up security at theaters. Sony has also come out saying that theaters are not obligated to show the film. Seth Rogen and James Franco, of course, the two stars of the film, they've canceled all of their press appearances in light of all these threats. This has definitely reached a whole new level. You know, if you read the actual note that the hacker sent out, it even references September 11th, wow. saying, watch out, we know what happened then. Yeah. Uh, I certainly don't think I'll be going to see the movie. I, I mean, I think we should take these seriously. I will be going. You're going? Yeah, yeah, right. well, way going to stand up to the hackers. I mean, I mean, it's like when September 11th happened, they would tell us, stop, don't stop going right. to the malls. Don't, don't try course. to, you know, ruin it's, our it's economy based on, yeah. on we that. Have to stand up, for yeah. sure. Yeah. But, um, but you do Good have point. to be visual, uh, careful, you yeah, know? Yeah, for like, sure. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like going. a lot of people are taking it seriously, but then experts are saying, like, oh, it's all a hoax. Don't worry about it. Like, yeah. it's just something, you know, causing Just be careful. Uproar, just be careful. But, but, uh, I do think it's going to affect the box yeah. office, though, for I do. sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Jerry's all, Jerry, well, Jerry's no, all. Well, here's the thing. It could be really, really good or really, really bad. Right. Yes. It, it'll be an extreme.